hello guys welcome to the next video tutorial on android app development for beginners and in this video we will see how gestures works in android so there are some common gestures like tab double tab scroll fling long press and other gestures which can be used with uh, our android screen and let's see how uh, you know these uh, gesture events work and we will see how we can uh, call uh, these function to uh, you know uh, record these gestures so first of all I have this blank project and in here what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a long text and drag and drop here okay now what I'm doing going to do is I'm going to go to my Java folder and in here main Java main activity dot Java file and in here first of all I'm going to add some libraries for gesture so I'm going to add these three libraries the library names are import android dot view dot motion event first is this second is import android dot gesture dot gesture okay and the third library is import static android dot view dot gesture dot asterisk now once you have uh, imported all these classes we will implement uh, this gesture detector interface to our class so this is our class which is public class main activity which extends or uh, inherits action bar activity and in here we will implement so implements and what we are going to implement is one is uh, the gesture listener so gesture dot gesture listener so on gesture listener and the second we are going to uh, add is gesture detector dot tap double tap listener okay so once you add uh, or, or implement these two uh, interfaces to your uh, class uh, you will be able to see some kind of squiggly red line which shows that uh, this um, method or this interface uh, has some uh, you know classes or functions which are not implemented okay so just click on this red bulb here you will be able to see this red bulb and just click here or alt enter and in here just click the first uh, option which is implement methods okay so click implement methods and in here uh, this box will show you all the method related to this uh, gesture detector on double tab listener which is on single tap confirm on double tap confirm on double tap event so these are the three events which are included through uh, on double tap listener and some of the method are included through on gesture listener also which are on down on show press on single tap on scroll on long and on fling these are all the gesture methods uh, so each uh, you know method uh, is related to one gesture okay so just uh, click ok and you will be able to see all the gestures uh, gesture methods will be automatically included in your uh, you know class okay so these are some of the common gestures okay now what I, we are going to do is first of all we will declare uh, these uh, variables one is our uh, text view variable and other method is private gesture detector combat uh, which detects the gesture and then we will declare the instance of it for example gesture d 
detect okay and you know it will show uh, error because we need to include this library so you just click uh, alt enter and import the class okay so now the class is imported which is uh, this class android.support.v4.view.gesture.detector.compat okay this class is imported now uh, we will cast uh, this text view first in our onCreate method and we will also create an instance of this gesture detect instance okay so in here so gesture detect is equal to new gesture detector compat and uh, this constructor takes two arguments and uh, these arguments are if you can just see here these arguments are the context and on gesture listener so both we will define as this so the context is this class itself okay and once again we will use this instance and we will set set double tap listener to this gesture detect and the context will be this for this also okay now what we are going to do is uh, let's uh, use this text view to show uh, the method which is called so for example we uh, you know uh, add or we perform some gesture for example double tap or show press or on scroll uh, you know gesture this method or these method will be called whenever we uh, you know perform any gesture on our android screen okay so what we want to do is we want to print which method is called in this uh, text view so just copy this text view variable from here and just go a little bit down and for each method which is created by these gesture listener and on double tap listener we will add one method to each uh, you know one you know uh, text view to each uh, method okay so text view dot set text and inside this uh, method or as, as an argument of this uh, set text we will pass uh, the name of the method simply okay so we know that which method is called and it will be printed in this text box the same thing i'm going to do for uh, all the method so on double tap So we have just added uh, the set text method to the text view so that we can print the method called on the text view okay you can even call these motion event uh, method in uh, your text uh, set text view okay so for example i want to add the you know motion event for this I can just add a concatenation operator e dot to string okay and this what it's going to do is it's going to print the you know motion event uh, string here so you can add uh, this to you know every method but uh, you know it's not necessary but you can do it to get the extra information about your uh, you know method which is called okay same you can do for on scroll e1 and e2 and you can call e1 dot to string plus e2 dot to string okay so e2 dot to string okay same uh, you can do for every method where motion event method is there okay 
now what uh, we are going to do is once we have added this uh, text view dot set text uh, to all these uh, uh, methods we can call or we just need to call one more method okay and that method is on touch event okay so go here just before uh, the declaration of all these method related to gesture detector and gesture on double tap listener all the methods are implemented here so you can call this method above all these method or below all these method it uh, you know doesn't uh, matter i'm going to add this uh, on touch event method above all these uh, method which are created by on double click listener and on gesture detector okay so in here go here and just press alt insert okay so just press alt plus insert and then you will be able to see uh, some uh, auto generation code options and we are going to choose override method from here so just choose override methods and in here there are so many methods and the method we are uh, searching for is on touch event so just make sure that uh, this filter is set here from uh, you know which adjust the alphabetical order so it's it will be easier to find uh, this uh, method so in here you just need to scroll down and if you don't find just uh, close first two categories here and then search in the third category and search for on touch event which is this event okay so search for on touch event here and click okay and this have created us this on touch event and inside this on touch event just before this return uh, on touch event we are going to just uh, use our gesture detector variable or gesture detector object which is uh, an instance of ge gesture detector compact inside this on touch event what i'm going to do is i'm going to call this gesture detect dot on dot on touch event and just pass this event as an argument okay and i think our code is ready so let let's run our code now so now our app is running and you can see there is nothing uh, inside our text view right now but once you scroll here or tap here or long tap here all the method will be recorded for example i scroll and you can see on scroll method is called and you can also see uh, the details of this motion detection which is uh, the coordinates here the action perform the time event time and other features which are uh, you know called by this event e to string right so you can scroll tap or fling and on fling you can see or you can long press or you can double click double tap or you know you can uh, play with uh, this uh, gestures and you will be able to see all the methods are called one by one on each gesture and if you want or if you don't want to see all this extra information just remove this e dot to string and you will just be able to see this method which is called so i hope uh, you understood the basic concept of gestures i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and bye